Welcome back to Hannity. Outrage has been brewing over a highly controversial painting called One Nation Under Socialism. As you can see, it depicts President Obama holding a burning U.S. Constitution. And despite the intense scrutiny, the artist is standing by his work. Sean recently sat down with the painter, John McNaughton, and asked him about the painting. And joining us now is the one and only John McNaughton. He's brought my new painting. How are you? How are you? Just look at it. How are you? I'm doing good. All right, it says right there, One Nation Under Socialism. Yes, indeed. All right. Now, already, I'm getting hammered for buying the painting. You're hammered for, for drawing the paint, for painting it. Um, and here it is. That's the U.S. Constitution, Barack Obama burning it. And I would think liberals would be very angry with this picture. Would you? They're, they're very angry. You know, it's a double standard is what it is. But I'm not trying to impress the art critics. I paint for myself. You like the fact that this kind of works in reverse. In other words, your paintings do get a lot of criticism and you do get attacked. Um, you have amazing religious drawings and you decided to delve into the political world. Tell us how you evolved into that. Well, everything started for me when um, the 2008 election rolled around and uh, uh, John McCain got the nomination and I was really frustrated because I'm a conservative and uh, I, I felt like I needed to paint something and that's when I did One Nation Under God. And then the next one I did was The Forgotten Man, and that happened when they passed Obamacare. We all know what's going on with that now. And so it's just been a kind of, kind of a continuation, and uh, my art is very, it's very emotional for me. So it's an outlet for me to communicate how I feel about what's happening in our country. And there's a lot of people that feel the same way I do. So when they see these paintings, it really resonates. When I saw this, I said, wow, because this is how I feel. That the president, and we saw this, you know, even recently, attacking Supreme Court justices. Obviously, I guess he never heard of Marbury versus Madison um, or separation of powers. And there have been many issues, or Obamacare and the, the very constitutionality of itself. Um, when you were painting this, what was your intention? Well, yeah, and it's called One Nation it's Under called Socialism. One Nation Under Socialism. And my intention was that when people see the painting, that they think about the choice that we're going to make next November. Uh, do you want a, a, a country that is is uh, free under the Constitution, or do you want to choose one nation under socialism? That's the choice. You know, this painting has a lot of subtleties, and some of the things I haven't even told you about. Oh, can you tell me? Well, for example, uh, in the flames, there's the word obey. I don't know if you can Wait see that. I can't. Uh, have you ever, like, on Google where they make you, yeah. you know, yeah, there's an O, a B, an E, and a Y. And I, that was the one word I thought that represented wow. you know, what socialism is about. Mm -hmm. And also, if you look at the bottom, the way that the flames are burning, it's almost like the outline of the bottom part of the United States, you know, as it's going up in flames, like there's Texas, and it kind of comes around here. Um, Very clear. There's the, the hammer and the sickle, you know, the sign of socialism right there. There's a sickle, and there's a hammer. It's very subtle, I and, and there's, I even, there's even more things in the painting, and I didn't want to reveal it right away. You know, a painting should have multiple layers. Of so there's things I'm going to discover over oh, time. There's more, you. like the, the painting on the back side. I, 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 it just showed me. All right, another one of my favorites of yours is One Nation Under God, and this, uh, this is a picture, and you do a lot of beautiful religious paintings. Thank you. Explain this one. Uh, that's a special painting. Um, you know, I painted that because I believe that the Constitution is divinely inspired, and not everybody feels that way, but but I do as an artist, and so I have Christ. I agree with you, by the way. Good, uh, and he's holding the Constitution, um, but behind him are all the different patriots of the past, and uh, they're speaking from the dust, and you see the dust coming up. And but the, but the one of the most important part of, parts of the painting is the foreground where you have the living Americans, and right now our country is very divided. I feel like we're at a tipping point. I agree with and you on, there too. On the one side, you've got the, the the Americans that believe in the Constitution, believe in limited government. And on the other side, you have those that are more confused, and uh, I wanted to create sort of a metaphor for different types of Americans. And I, again, I wanted it to be a kind of painting where people could, could think about what it means and they could get lost in the painting, you know, thinking about the different symbols. Uh, and for those who are willing to take the time, they go to my website and they can put their cursor on different people. It pops up, tells them what it means. Great. John McNaughton, uh, thank you so much for being with us. Thank, thank you for the painting. I really love it. Thank you and uh, appreciate you being here. Thank you. It's great. And that is all the time we have left this evening. Thank you for being with us.